I want to bring in Congressman Guy Reschenthaler of Pennsylvania. Congressman, welcome to the program. Grant, thanks for having me back on the show. And please just call me Absolutely. Guy. Absolutely. It's great to see you guys. So, look, we've got all this craziness unfolding in Philadelphia. This is your home state. I just showed you an example of what happens when officers don't fire at somebody with a knife until it's too late. What are you telling the people of Philadelphia? What are you telling the liberal leaders in your state that I believe in, in some regards is responsible for this? Well, I would say, first off, call out this violence and stand with the police. You'll notice that everybody from Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, to our super liberal governor, Whoop, have refused to condemn the violence. And they may make these blanket statements, but they don't call out Antifa. They don't call out the violent anarchists. So it's time that they articulate that they stand for law and order and that they stand with the police, not the chaos that's ensuing. But, Grant, this isn't shocking that we're having these, these flare-ups in Philadelphia, these violent protests, because all summer long, the Democrats have, in essence, declared war on the police. They have a knee-jerk reaction to never support the police position and, again, to refuse to call out the violence. And because they have taken these positions, this is why you're seeing this, violent, this violence sweep through yeah. Philadelphia, yeah. just like you saw it sweep through Kenosha. Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, you know, they want to defund the police. Philly actually did it. Now they're looking for $14 million to outfit officers with tasers. Those officers didn't even have tasers. And again, I'm not even convinced tasers work for a deranged lunatic all the time. Um, with that said, I want to go back now to Pennsylvania. This is what the election's all about. You love law and order or you don't. Pennsylvania, you love coal. I do. Count on coal. I love oil. I love fracking. I love all of it. Joe Biden wants to kill it. How is Pennsylvania looking from your boots on the ground perspective, Congressman? Pennsylvania is looking very good for President Trump. I don't care what the polls say. I'm out here on the ground every day. Here in southwestern Pennsylvania, people are not buying the, the many different positions that Joe Biden has had on oil and gas and fracking. They're taking him at his word when he got caught on tape numerous times saying that he wants to ban fracking. And in the last debate, Joe Biden even said that he wanted to end the petrochemical or the, the petroleum industry. So it's very hard for Pennsylvanians to support Joe Biden when it would mean the loss of at least 600,000 jobs. I really feel that uh, President Trump will win Pennsylvania. But, Grant, what concerns me is the issue of fraud. That could be a game changer, and that's something we've got to be uh, alerted to. Well, certainly we've got a team of lawyers out there. The Republican Party does. The Trump campaign does. But you know what? The Biden campaign does, too. They've got hundreds. This probably will, sadly, turn out to be a giant legal battle. But, Congressman, unless there's a red wave, which there could be, then maybe not. Buddy, it's always good to see you. Go out hey, there, thanks, pound some knuckles with voters, man, and, and uh, get them out for Tuesday. We appreciate you, brother. Will do. Thanks, Grant.